You know why I don't hear that no more? It's because it's a display? No, it's sound. It's because my music was down. I was wondering why I couldn't hear the little doo doo. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. Let's get Ray Pinker. It's a weird name to begin with. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. Look at this amazing pipe. They all left in the car. Amazing. The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. Maybe he just checks out kids for a living. Phelps, you ever thought about that? That's his life. Who are we to judge? There you go. There you go. Let me call him. This dude's not going to have a conversation with me right now. Yep. Yeah, take our time because it's a crime scene. Yeah, yeah, go. Let's run. Do, do, do. Jump. Now let's call. Let's use that phone. It's a phone for calling cops. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, detective. I'll get in touch with the watch commander. Thanks, ma'am. That's amazing. I'm glad we did all that. We did all that. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's charge somebody. I say we make Rooney for this. I think we should lay it on him. He was near the car. He had her jewelry. The DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Mueller slide? For a while. He gets a free pass for now. For a while. I don't know about this. My gut says Muller. We caught him trying to destroy evidence in his backyard. And that was his car with the bloody tools in it. I never said it wasn't Muller. Hell, he probably killed his wife, deprived that poor kid of a mother. But he's not in immediate danger to anyone else. Rooney's a threat to every kid at Belmont. He's a peeper, Rusty. We can pick him up for something else. You really want to run that risk? Boy, damn, he's using logic over here. Is that logic, though? Is that the logic we want our police force to use? I'm sure some people are out here saying yes, yes. But should we? That's the real question that we should ask ourselves over here. Is that just because we want it to happen, or just because it needs to happen, doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. Not just because you want to do it off the streets, even though he did something really bad. Like murder, I mean not murder, but rape a little kid or something like that. Something that drastic. And he gets, he didn't do the murder, but should we just send him in jail because of what we couldn't get him for? Like, I don't think that's fair. I honestly don't think it's fair. I feel like that's just the government trying to get you. Or the justice system trying to get you because they couldn't get you on the first thing. Like when you kill somebody and then you, you couldn't beat that case. But you go to civil court and then you make the money over there like well if I got away with that over there or if I got if I didn't get convicted over there why should I have to do this over here it just that doesn't make sense to me I don't get why you want to even get paid to begin with if you, someone's killed it's like wow does, does money really gonna do anything no money doesn't do shit it just makes you feel like you did something but it doesn't Better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. But I am... You ain't not bigger than you. I'm a detective. Alright, let's go talk to the pervert. Is a pervert over here? Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. Oh, you know what that means. When he means old friend, he means something happened. 
in a court in a case that he couldn't fix. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? Boy. So your footprints at the crime scene. So basically, we want to know your foot size. What size boot do you wear, Eli? Kind of like anything I can get my hands on. I'm wearing 11s. I don't know. Don't believe you, but I can't find out you're lying. You're maybe 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, tops. And you wear size 11s? I don't think so, Eli. That might be on the large side. Maybe 10s. Maybe 8s. Now that I come to think of it. Why punish children with your iniquity, Eli? You think I was never punished? You must know what you're doing is evil. Well, son. Nobody's perfect. Ooh, weirdo. Uh, where do you work, dude? You're down on your luck. You what? How did you get over here, dude? I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't miss place. Big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any workwear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. Back in the pen. Like how everything, all the things we're finding out. You ever just tie up boom. any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. Bam, look, straight face. Nothing. Not looking. That's a truthful answer right there. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid, tie hitching braid, stays tied. Boy, I wouldn't even know the difference between a whoop rope. Uh your motive for killing the girl, even though I'm pretty sure you don't even know her. He's alleged sex offender. If he went to prison, what do you go to prison for? You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. I'm doubting his ass. Look at that. He's moving. Be like your other dude where you just straight face. Never look the other way. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. You're as good as done, Mr. Rooney. All it will take now is some paperwork. Oh my god, did I press A? Oh, oh my god, thank god. For my money, Hugo Moll is the number one suspect. The evidence is solid. I think it's time we hit him with it. I thought I was done. I'm like, I'm not ready, dude. I still got the... So I interview this my Lafford. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. Death and all row? you have to say for yourself is I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test, I can prove it. Lie test doesn't uphold in the court of law, sir. So you lying. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin them. Oh, 
you have access to this type of rope, which I don't know what it's even used for. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope, with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier control. Uh, access to the tire cover? Yeah, yeah, access to the tire cover. My bad, I was like confused. I was like, well, what's happening over here? Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. What? I'm confused. You're lying, Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean on this. You got no proof. I got nothing but proof, sir. Where is it? Where is it? Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. Boom! What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. Damn, this boy. He's saying all the right things in all the wrong places. The victim's vehicle has been recovered. Your wife's vehicle has been found. He's looking, is he sweating? Look at that, he's sweating over there. He's looking at me like shit. I might have done it. He don't even know, getting drunk. We found Boom. your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. Right here, right here. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM, found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator too? Make him sweat. Might as well charge that dude. Even though I don't know. He ran the light on Olympic and we finally Like if you want five stars, you have to charge this dude, but if you don't want it, you can just go and charge this dude. But since we're trying to get a five star marathon over here, five stars, remember that? We're gonna go charge this dude. What up my man? It's super dark in here. I just noticed that. Let's talk to him. Oh, you're going to jail, dude, bam. I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy? You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rat. I ain't a killer. Damn, beating that ass. Look at that cry. He's like, shit, I knew it. This is my life now. Ah, Phelps. Galloway. Congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys? I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. Only 300 damage to the vehicle. There you go, five stars. Eli Rooney can expect a warm welcome from the captain and the district attorney. Let's close it. I think we have a flashback over here. Let's see what happens. Phelps, we captured two regular army. Lieutenant, 
Belt, we've been over this. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rank. I'm in charge here, Medier. Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? I know they're beat. Why they look so sullen. They're wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this, Golden Boy. I just seems to know what he's doing. Not got the know, Kai saw talk. See that boys, he slapped that Jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese, Corporal. Respect, we're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we are fighting the Japanese, Private? With respect, sir, these bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, Private? Because they hate the U.S. of A. and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? Damn, Private Phelps knows everything. He knows the way of life. He knows why we're doing this. Why this is happening. Or why this, this, this and that. Some people are still over the head. Blah, blah, blah. Private Phelps just say straight up truth right there. It's truth that never gonna get you back. The Stilk Socking murder. We're gonna watch this later. Can I just skip this or like what's up? Ah, oh, Phelps. There you go. Well, this is AG4N97. It's coming back at you. Leaving again. That was a good 30 minutes. That's a 15 15 minute video right there. I'm trying to make this video shorter. I think 15 minutes for each side is is uh is uh easy. It's easier for everybody involved. No one wants to watch a 30 minute video that's like what? Anyway, that's a different story. But yeah, this is AG4N97 signing out. Don't forget to subscribe. F follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook. Do all that shit that's necessary to do. And I'll see you guys next time.